Okay, and this is how I take care of my nitrates in here. Um, well, for one, I've got a uh, fluidized bed filter there. It's basically just a vase from Michael's, uh, Michael's Craft Store. It's just a vase with a, you know, like 8 by 5 inch piece of uh, plexiglass with a hole drilled in the middle of, middle of it. With, I've got my intake tube. The intake tube uh, comes from this side of the aquarium. Over here, uh, it's powered by a very small fountain pump, but strong enough to get the bed moving. Um, it's got a uh, PVC drop pipe in there, which feeds down into the bottom and sends all the sand up and keeps that sand moving. And then uh, the idea behind it is, is that since there's water flowing over every single piece of sand constantly, uh, Theoretically, bacteria is able to colonize every single piece of sand, the entire surface of it, so it's a huge amount of biofiltration. Um, pretty much nothing can stand up to a, uh, sand, a moving sand bed filter. So that thing provides a huge amount of filtration, but it also creates a ton of nitrates, which is why I have all these plants in here. Uh, these are pothos plants, and you can see from my sump design, the water starts up here and comes down here, goes through a bunch of biomaterial, up back again, filters over the roots of the plants. My refugium is in here, where the water swirls around a bit, and then comes back over the top again, filters over more plant roots, through some lava rock, which I have the plants growing into, so they should keep the lava rock clean because they'll be eating all that garbage and stuff that collects in there. And then it goes down through the bottom, and then up here again where I have some more plants, that's a spathophyllum or a peace lily. I've got a couple uh, Louisiana iris bulbs in there that haven't started growing yet. Um, rooted in here, I've just got Lucky Bamboo. Uh, I made, took some cuttings off, and they've only been in there for like about five days, and they've already started sprouting roots, so the moving water really helps getting the uh, cuttings going. They move pretty quick, so I should see a lot of roots starting up here pretty soon. But uh, I've got more pothos growing. I've got some of it growing out the back. I have it over the uh, spray bar, which is the return for my sump. Uh, I wanted to keep it, wanted to keep the, the uh, plants in front of moving water, so that way they're not getting stagnant and I'm not having any problems with rot or anything. I got some more on this side too. And I also have some back here in my overflow box. This is just Lucky Bamboo again. Pretty easy to grow, dim light, doesn't need anything special, and more pothos. And this, uh, the plants since uh, plants need nitrogen since uh, ha having a constant supply of nitrates in the water is pretty typical for any fish keeper uh, the plants just thrive off the nitrates and uh, sh should should cut the uh, water changes down quite a bit by uh, maybe half to even more than that depending on how much they're able to remove so that's my that's my filtration setup